In this video, we will look at solving equations by factoring that do not equal 0. It is important to remember that before we factor, the equation must equal 0. As we do this, to make the factoring easier, we will want to make the x squared positive. It is very important the equation equals 0 before we factor, because the zero product rule requires the equation to equal 0 first before we equal set each factor equal to 0. For example, if we had this problem, we would want to first make it equal 0 before we tried any factoring. The x squared is already positive, so let's move everything over to the side with the positive x squared. We do this by subtracting 2x and subtracting 16. There are no like terms, so we have 5x squared minus 2x minus 16 equals 0. We can now factor this using the AC method. 5 times negative 16 is negative 80 and adding to negative 2. We can do this with 10 and 8 if the 10 is negative. Factoring our expression then, to get the 5x squared, the only way to do so is 5x times x, which means 5x had to be multiplied by something to give us the negative 10, because 8 has no 5 factor. Clearly, we have negative 2. The x in the middle must have been multiplied by positive 8. Our expression is now factored, so we're ready to solve it. The way we can solve it is setting each factor equal to 0. The 5x plus 8 equals 0, and the x minus 2 equals 0. Solving each of these equations, we'll find our solution for x. Subtracting 8 from both sides gives us 5x equals negative 8. Finally, dividing by 5 gives us our final answer of negative 8 fifths, which makes the first factor 0, and thus the original equation true when we plug in negative 8 fifths. We do have a second solution, which comes from the second factor. Adding 2 to both sides gives us x equals 2. When x equals 2, the original equation would also be a true equation. Let's try one more example, where we have to make it equal 0 first, before we can factor and set each factor equal to 0. In this problem, we notice the x squared is negative. We like it to be positive, so we're going to move it over to the other side. We do this by adding the 2x squared to both sides. We now have 0 equals 2x squared plus x minus 3. Using the AC method to factor, we want to multiply to negative 6 and add to 1. This would be 2 times 3, where the 2 is a negative. Using this to factor, the only way we can get the 2x squared is by multiplying 2x times x. At the end, 2x times something to get the negative 2 must be negative 1. In the middle, x must be multiplied by 3 to give us the other number. Now that it's factored, we can solve by setting each factor equal to 0. 2x plus 3 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. The equations solve quickly by subtracting 3, giving us 2x equals negative 3, and dividing by 2 to get our first solution, negative 3 halves. Our last solution comes from adding 1 to both sides of the other equation. This gives us x equals 1. By first setting the equation equal to 0, we can then factor and set each factor equal to 0 to solve any equation that has an x squared in the problem.